from 2014. Much that passes as idealism is disguised hatred or disguised love of power. ICAC might now be successful in getting itself dissolved before it chooses to investigate the broad range of ALP corruption. The trigger has been the investigation of Deputy Senior Crown Prosecutor Margaret, Margaret Kneen, Senior Counsel, over a malicious complaint made against her while the ICAC has claimed two Liberal Premiers and ten Liberal members on an issue of election funding irregularities. It has turned a blind eye to ALP corruption which involves officers hiring hitmen and funding jihadists and corrupt property deals worth more many billions of dollars. The watch body that oversees the ICAC has reluctantly moved after Cunin engaged it to force the ICAC to account for its decisions. The ICAC has declined to list its reasons for its behavior, and now an investigation is to be opened by the overseer to the watchdog. U.S. midterm elections have been completed, and the results show a healthy win by the GOP. Obama will retain a veto for the next two years, but the direction he has taken to the U.S. will change. Former chief scientist misspoke when she claimed the world would end in five years. She meant we would all be dead, but Gaia would not have done the deed yet. Mike Carlton caught on a left-traveling current, has been invited by his former employer, Sydney Morning Herald, to get closer to their left-wing journalists by subscription. Milne, shown to be an incompetent green leader, she had been incapable of working with tactically capable workers and engaging them with her strategic positioning on policy issues, according to former green staffer Tim Hollow, who still admires her. Whitlam funeral, he was flawed, and it is difficult to point to anything he achieved as worthwhile. The funeral was touching if one ignored the boos for liberals and the cold shoulder for Rudd and the cheers for the questionable former Prime Minister Gillard. Guff, uh, Goff gave Kate Blanchett a free tertiary education. Taxpayers paid for it. PUP Senator Jackie Lambie, who has refused to pass cuts to stabilize the budget, has called on Australia to turn their backs on Remembrance Day. She argues troops should have larger pay rises than beneath inflation. It seems inappropriate that a day to remember war dead is abused over a pay dispute. Senator Muir struggling to retain staff. The murdering enthusiast is struggling to stand on any principle. The two Islamic uh, groups brag of raping women they captured through violence. ISIS and Boko Haram now will mainstream media glorify it for young Islamic men. Greens gone soft on Islamic uh, State, as Andrew Bolt points out, quoting Bertrand Russell, much that passes as idealism is disguised hatred or disguised love of power. It is an international problem for secular idealists embracing hatred ideology. Thank you, Australia. Medical volunteers have an arrangement to fight Ebola thanks to the Australian government doing a deal with the UK to care for them if they succumb to illness they, help, uh, they need help to treat. Australia is too far away to have guaranteed that treatment. <laughs>